live, Sada. Thank you. Nice. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you too. I'm in pain though, because you know I'm so worried about this episode tonight. The baby. Baby, if Callie dies, Shonda and I will have a big problem. Well, all I'm saying is why did she why did she take her seatbelt off? It's uh that was not a smart thing to do. And why did Arizona ask her to marry? You know this stuff was going to happen after that because nothing ever happens good for Callie. <laughs> I'm always messes her up. Well, you know, Callie has a lot of uh, life lessons that apparently are going to hopefully help her learn something. <laughs> so she doesn't keep making the same mistakes. Watching you sitting there. <laughs> Tony Award winner, but how did this musical episode come about? Well, it, we're, it's really, it's, we're calling it the music event. Um, Not musical, right? The thing about it is the word musical can often times be misleading, you know, and Fossy. people think, right, you know, Fosse, Jazz Hands, and all of that is fabulous. It's just music has always been a part of Grey's Anatomy. It's right. always helped tell the story. It's like another character, you know. And so it was quite organic to use songs from the first three seasons to now tell the story again, but through the characters and also through Callie's state, as we'll find out tonight. Um, it was very exciting. Sean has been wanting to do this since the show started, is what she said. And um, <clears throat> for whatever reason, the timing wasn't right. And uh, this season, she went forward with it. She put together a music presentation for the network and had Kevin McKidd and Shonda Wilson and I uh, help her out with that. She was narrating the, the piece. We sang songs like Chasing Cars. Um, was that nerve-wracking singing for the network, like to go in and... I mean, I get nervous every time because I care. <laughs> I and mean, I think the day that you, you're not nervous is the day you should probably start doing something else. But this is where but, you um, come from. You come from the stage. It's, the stage is one thing, and yes, performing in front of people is something I've done before, but I get nervous. Absolutely. I mean, because you care. You want it, you know, you want it to be good. And Where do you keep it, Tony? Yeah, it is on my piano at home. I actually have an upright piano that I brought from New York when I moved here, and um, it's a crusty old upright piano from New York that I love, oh, and it's, I love it's it. sitting right there. Well, we have a clip of the cast singing <laughs> "What's Become," Gray's great Yay. pseudo theme song, while operating on you. Oh, it's going to wow. be emotional. It's, I love them. I love my cast and my crew. Can I tell you, they have worked nonstop. I mean, every episode is blood, sweat, and tears, but this took two to three times longer than a regular episode. The pre-production, the post-production, the hours... And it's been a really long time since we've seen, I don't remember the last time we saw all the doctors of Seattle Grace. All of them in there together. In the OR or the trauma room. And to watch my fellow actors, like, the cast is incredible and the crew works really hard as well. So it's I'm almost really like proud of watching a bit of a musical every week with you all. You all are seamless in the way you interact with each other. It's like a dance. It is a dance. It's an orchestration of sorts. I mean, we have such an amazing medical team led by Linda Klein who uh, they tell us specifically what we're supposed to do in all of these scenes. And so as you saw, everybody has, you know, very specific choreography in a way in terms of what they're working on, whether it's the music event or, you know, a another episode. So who wanted to sing? Who didn't? Was there somebody that wanted to sing? You're like, you know what, baby? Why don't you just hold off till the shower? Why don't you just operate? Yeah, you I mean, look, I mean, understandably so. Some folks just, you know, I mean, I think even Patrick's been talking about it recently. He's, you know, and uh, and so that's fine. I just think uh, there's a few people where it just didn't, it wasn't the right time. It wasn't for them right now, and that's fine. And I think also in the telling of the story and the writing of the story, it made sense. Certain characters weren't singing, and so... I mean, it's all good. I, I think at the end of the day, though, it was a wonderful opportunity for it to showcase certain people's talents. And I think the surprise is really about the people who we don't know can sing. You know, we've read about people who can sing that have done it before, but what about the people that we've never heard sing, like, like Tyler Lee? Like, you know, um, it's just really exciting. Everybody showed up. We had an amazing vocal coach, Rachel Lawrence, an incredible MD, uh, Chris Horvath, and Tony Phelan, our fearless leader, director, you know, who led the way the whole time and gave us the support we needed to you know, get get over our issues with singing or what is very confronting singing sometimes. And so people showed up, and we have great voices in our cast. I'm really proud of everybody. So you've taken it to the next level with the story. Also, <laughs> you've released it as an EP, right? Yes, actually. Moving um, up the charts on it. I, it's yeah. really exciting. This is my first EP. It's four songs, three of them. I co-wrote with my friend Rob Giles, who also produced the EP, and then Michael Pemberton co-wrote another song there. And it's just, again, another opportunity to continue to uh, develop myself as a music artist. So Number seven on the charts already. <laughs> it's really it's crazy. I mean, I yeah, it's it's really something else. But um, I got to tell you, it's really fun. 
Make sure you search Sada, S-A-R-A, Ramirez, not S-A-D-A or you won't find it. But yeah, it's up on iTunes. So it please is. check it's it out. Good episode. Get the Kleenexes ready tonight. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy's music episode airs tonight at 9 on ABC. And make sure you download Sada's self-titled album on iTunes. Now remember, S-A-R-A, Ramirez. That's right.